In statistics, the standard deviation is a measure of the amount of variation or dispersion on a set of values. And when we say dispersion, that entails the variability, scatteredness, or spreadness of the row scores. It is the extent to which a distribution is stretched or is squeezed that usually displayed in normal distribution curve. Let us assume that your teacher gave you an achievement test in a form of pretest and post-test. So to know the dispersion of the row scores from students with very low scores to students with very high scores, standard deviation is very helpful. Anyway, standard deviation is usually abbreviated as SD. Yes, capital S and capital D, SD. And is most commonly represented in mathematical text and equations by the lowercase Greek letter sigma, like that one, for the population standard deviation, and Latin letter small s for the sample standard deviation. To begin with our agenda today, we will try to answer these specific questions. First, how to compute standard deviation? Second, what does the standard deviation tell us? And lastly, why is a standard deviation useful? To compute the standard deviation, we will use Excel. As you see in the spreadsheet, we have here the row scores of the students from the experimental group and the control group. Let us assume that the teacher gave an achievement test to both groups in a form of pretest and post-test. The yellow columns here are the pretest of the experimental group and the control group, while the green columns are the post-test of the experimental group and the control group. For the trial, let us write student 1, 2, three and the fast way to list down the number here is to highlight the first number or the first three number click and then drag down and it will automatically input numbers and to compute standard deviation from this row data we will input functions or formula from excel and for the formula of the standard deviation we will start with the equal symbol, then type ST, then there are a number of different options here like stdev.p, stdev.s, stdev.a. This one, the stdave or stdev.a. This is the functions of the standard division or the standardized standard deviation function for a sample of the population. Generally, it is the sample of the entire population. But to make it more easier for both of us, of course, let us just add open parenthesis right after stdev. So again, equal sign, stdev, open parenthesis, then highlight the row scores of your sample, then press enter. Then do the same to the rest of the scores in order to compute the standard deviation. Now, what does the standard deviation tell us? As you see in the table, the computed standard deviation of the students from both groups during pretests were almost the same. But the computed standard deviation of the students in the experimental group of 3.71 was higher than the control group of 3.22, which means that the scores of the students in the experimental group were near to very high or very low scores. And the students in the control group achieved close to the average score with few achieving high or low scores. And in terms of post-test, you will see that the standard deviation of the students in the experimental group of 7.46 was higher than 
the standard deviation of the control group of 3.93. What does it imply? Always remember, a low standard deviation indicates that the values tend to be close to the mean, or also called the expected value or average. Or, if the standard deviation is small, then most of the students have achieved close to the average score with few achieving high or low scores. While a high standard deviation indicates that the values are spread out over a wider range, or if the standard deviation is larger, the student scores are very spread out from the mean with individuals achieving very high or very low scores on the test. Meaning to say, the further the data spreads, the greater the standard deviation. And always remember, once you get zero in your standard deviation, that indicates one thing. All values in the set are the same. And why is a standard deviation useful? Because you will know that the standard deviation of the experimental group is obviously higher than the control group. That indicates the student scores are heterogeneous or spread out from the mean. And you will know that the standard deviation of the control group is close to the mean or average. Oh, <laughs>